Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Today you are making pumpkin spice sweet potato pancakes from the Plan Paradox cookbook. So, karibuni. This is my my, my third or my fourth. I've made this pancake a, a couple of times. So, karibuni. You will need one sweet potato. A small size you mash you're going to need a uh, two tablespoons of two tablespoons of unsweetened coconut milk two eggs state now here we have we have almond flour we have baking powder we have nutmeg we have cinnamon and we have um, lemon zest the recipe calls for what, 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 what do you call it? Orange zest, but I've, I've done it with orange zest all the time. So I just feel like, let me try the lemon zest. Other thing that the recipe has is a uh, ground cloves. I've, I've done it with the cloves. I don't like the, having the cloves in the, whatever in here. And then we are going to need a uh, stevia three to how many drops? We're going to need how many? Four to five drops of stevia. I'll use less. The last time I used four, I thought it was too much. And then something else that we have forgotten. We have forgotten a quarter teaspoon of ginger. So we whisk together the sweet potatoes, the stevia, coconut milk. From the beginning, la my kwanza. I'll use two drops. One, two. Unsweetened coconut milk. And then our sweet potatoes. We're going to use a cast iron, so mine is here. In the left part of the There's a time I what I blended. I blended this mixture where everything was falling apart. Everything was falling apart. You'll see when you come here to the pan. Upper it of character develop yes. So I learned my lesson at Brother Mash. That day that I blended. Okay? Then we put in the rest. And another thing, guys, eh, I've also made this recipe with the egg replacer. So if you don't want, if you don't like eggs, you can use the egg replacer. So that's not an issue. Then from there, Wajiko. You have butter you can use butter you can use avocado oil cast iron cast iron cast iron or non-stick or i put a name cute time you just regulate more to kiasi then you give it time so you know to pole pole
nice recipe like if you have a lot of sweet potatoes will pick pulikula sweet potato jana you can use leftover sweet potatoes that you have you just mash a little bit of almond flour the spices and you're done You keep on turning, you give it time, eh? You're even done. Share to type in immediately once you see that all the parts are brown. I don't like them soggy. See? So even though it's plenty. I think they are ready. You see, once you press it down, it's only in me not to care. But uh, the book says you cook it for three to four minutes, flipping every time until they are golden brown. Our pancakes are ready. So to have Tazama, 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 ujione. Jone, Jone, Jone. Maybe then. So, I got cool, eh? Not to one day. Me, no cool, I'm a ragaza, so I know. Mmm. That's nice. But then, if you're not a sweet, if you're. Not a sweet tooth like me. The two drops of stevia are just enough. They're enough because even the sweet potato, you can a scary coat So only two drops of stevia, ziko sour. So, hapo hapo. Don't forget, guys. This is the pumpkin, pumpkin spice sweet potato pancakes from the Plant Paradox Cookbook by Dr. Gandry. We've done them. We've seen. If you have leftover sweet potatoes. This is a nice way of um, kujipatia, kuzipe maurembo rembo, kuzirivamp kiasi, but uh, yes, we make vitu kali kali, vitu tamu, so there is the video, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to like, to share, and let's connect on Instagram at underscore Karo Mwelu, see you next time on the next video, when you try out the recipes, kindly guys, send the photos or tag me on my IG page. Bye-bye. See you next time.